Seahawks leader at quarterback. There were no problems for him last week, going over 350 passing yards. It's the Seahawks and the Cardinals, and it comes your way next. It's the Seahawks and the Cardinals, and it comes your way next. With Mount Rainier in the distance, there are few cities finer on a clear afternoon than this one, and we have a picture-perfect day for football at Lumen Field in Seattle. Today, we've got a good Week 5 matchup in store here between the Arizona Cardinals and the Seattle Seahawks. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you look at the Seahawks team as they get ready here. It's been a lost first month of the season, that's for sure, as they come in with an 0-4 record. And the window's not shut on them, though. They still have a chance to make something out of this season, but it has to start right now. Meanwhile, for the visiting Cardinals here, they're hitting their stride of late. Winners of three of their last four. And last week's win was indicative of how good this team can be. It was a complete performance. In the NFL. And this is a game for grit, determination and somehow finding a way not to panic what a horrible start for them i mean they haven't won a game yet so now as a quarterback you're not just talking to be the leader by how he plays they'll come out throwing here to start the drive and his first pass is incomplete see this quite a bit on running plays with the guys out wide. A lot of times though it doesn't get caught. You're exactly right because it's away from the play usually so a lot of it goes undetected but I know this will surprise you. I took some receivers in the offseason. We work a lot on hand placement and blocking downfield. May want to take that course. Tackled by Isaiah Simmons. Well, this defense for the Cardinals, they were excellent in that win over the 49ers last week. Yeah, and what stood out to me on takeoff, a pretty decent game. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll try for the first with Walker. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense... Linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. So now on comes the field goal unit. And wow, this is no ordinary try here. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. And this will remain a scoreless. It's back. You want to show confidence later. What's going to go on with him right out of the gate with a miss? Yeah, chance to grab the 3-0 lead here at home. Instead, we remain scoreless. Now throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. And he's brought down. 15 yards is the pick up there and the drive starting very nicely. First down. And another thing that makes the comeback route really effective is that oftentimes after you've made the initial move, receivers breaking away. Throwing on first down is Murray. Finds his running back, James Conner. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. The Cardinals hit three and one here through their first four games. And they're hitting their stride of late. Winners of three of their last four. And I thought that they played pretty well last. <laughs> They'll run for the first time with James Conner. A check on the numbers last week for Conner. 19 carries, 81 yards, and a touchdown. They've won two straight games. 30. Right back to Connor here on first. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Decided to hit it off that time on the run pass option. The pun got five. Here's second and five. There's Murray. That's complete to McBride. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 13-yard line. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. For one. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. And he delivers a strike complete to Watkins. 
Call it a gain of six on the play, and it's second down. Play, and it's second down. But yet another completion here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect 4-4 four four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. James Conner, his seventh rushing touchdown of the year. And the Cardinals will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Guy, you just stay right there. Each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. Charles, they work in the rushing game and the aerial attack, and they end it with a touchdown. Strong in so many ways, wasn't it, partner? Their ability to throw it and run it and accomplish their goal, they've got to like the way that they started this ball game. Running your kicker back out there. Here we go. But let's face it, some coaches have a little bit less patience for that than others. Let's see if they call the game differently now in terms of what they do on drives and not try and settle for field goals. And he will lose yards. Gotcha, man. Good luck. Yard line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for. One of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. The nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. On third down, he'll drop to throw. The cards get to him here. He's brought down for a sack. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. They just gave up a sack there, and if I'm not mistaken, they gave up four last week, didn't they? Yes. And they're just looking really porous, aren't they? They really are, and I'm wondering if they're going to have to start thinking about keeping the tight end in, maybe a back. Hey. I'm not going to ruin the average. It was too close. The Cards will take over first and ten. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage. I remember playing, and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did some of that. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. One thing you're hoping for when you're running drag. Yeah, I get confused because you guys' usernames always change. We shut you down the last time we played you. Three and out on the last possession. That told you just how stalled they are on offense. So who will step up here? We'll see. This defense is down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? Walker once more. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Ken Walker, his third touchdown now. The drive will start with Connor. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. That's a really good thing. As soon as he gets out, he's going to take it and run it for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. And he's going to have the Cardinals first down. Is there yeah, I'll check it out, man. Is it a short or an actual video? From our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, 
One thing they did. On first and ten is counter. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They suspected that it was a power play up the middle coming out. And boy. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. And he's able to take it across midfield. He can't get there. Sometimes your hands get too involved. Able to get this one to McBride. And he's going to be stopped here at the 43, and that is not near enough to pick up the first. Only able to gain a couple there. And that's two to slow him down before he truly gets started. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. I apologize in advance, partner, but the V feeders. I apologize in advance, partner, but the V feeders on the interior of this D line. You just know they were licking their chops on third and short. And yes, they were rewarded with a tasty dish, stuffing that one short of a first down. Driving at the line, the Cardinal offense. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Just a yard on the first down, carry. Just one for three thus far. This is third and nine. Throwing there, but this Man, they're playing some defense. He did a fine job there not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can all... They come up to the line of scrimmage. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Oh, oh, what coverage. What coverage by Murphy. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a perfectly timed user pick. Make it back-to-back -back weeks now with a pick six for him. He had one a week ago. Talk about being in the groove. And what are the odds of what we're seeing right here? <laughs> Now look to throw again. Oh, he's open over there. Oh, nice pass break up again. Good coverage there. Force the ball free, and it's second down. They'll set up a throw. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you kidding me? That one, that was tough to argue against. Yeah, and I'm sure that everyone's going to say, hey, we're going to administer the penalty the same way for all quarterbacks. But when it's a star back there, even more so, they're going to be diligent about throwing the flag. Now a throw to the end zone on first. Cut down level so far. Even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. Oh, my God. An interception right there. Come on. Interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. Patterson's kick is good. So three points over. It's easy to figure out what you're going to get, but I can see you shaking your head. I love that play for vision of yours, partner, because to me, if it's the fourth quarter, and a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. So here are the Cardinals to take over. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and ten. Throwing now is Murray. That's complete to McBride. And from the 25, they work this to the 29. A gain of four. More than normal as he works straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. He'll get five out of the keeper, but now it's third down. That's what you can do. Just shy of midfield. 41 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. <laughs> on first and ten, here's Murray. He'll get this complete to Rondell Moore. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. How to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. Connor up the middle. 
And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Nice chunky yards at first down. It really opens up your options. Goes right back to McBride. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. And let's face it, you can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, his left, but just a minimal gain as the defense was able to react quickly. McCann's kick is good. And that moves him up by a touchdown now. At Take that type of result on each and every attempt. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Eluding the bat. He can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw him up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Here's Pat O'Donnell on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes after something. Hey, to throw, it's Murray. Over the middle, complete. It's Moore. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. Now we're going to get a stop right at the 40. They'll fake it to Connor. Now Murray. He's got his man on the comebacker. That's Watkins. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that. They run behind center with Connor. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go in third game. They stay on the ground. Here's Connor again. And he's going to run into a brick wall right in the middle of the field. And I don't think he got there. Call it no gain that time. And they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. That one short of a first down. Well, we got beef eaters licking their chops and tasty dish in one fell swoop. I did apologize in advance, didn't I? Yeah, you did. That line's not eating tofu, I'll tell you that much for free. Going with their tight end on fourth. And the Cardinals are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. I love those plays. Fourth and one. That's who wants it more this time, the offense. Yeah, there's a lot of hooting and hollering in there, right? A lot of contact and a lot of collisions as they try and find some space. Now Murray. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. Not the first and goal play they drew up. Multiple defenders in to bring him down. Not going to have much time in the pocket before the defenders bring pressure. Dancing to his left. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. Half the distance and a fresh set of downs to try to punch one in. Out of the shotgun, they'll run with Connor. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. James Conner with his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season. And the Cardinals have taken a two-touchdown lead now. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control to begin the drive. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. You've got to figure the further they fall behind, the more you think that they'll get away from the run. Out of it. Ready? Straight ahead, Walker. Oh, a heck of a move. And he is in for the Seattle 
touchdown. Kenneth Walker, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And goal line. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Cardinals offense now works their way back onto the field. And their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. There's Murray. Over the middle, it's complete. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Solid way to start the drive. Third to the deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. An option handoff given to Connor. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Bringing him down defensively, Jayon Brown pick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. That goes for 14 yards, first down Cardinals. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those masks on their hands so often because that could be the make or break difference on a play. This time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the play happen. Got caught for the penalty. And he's up across midfield and down into Seattle territory. And that last play, that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. On the draw, Connor. And he can only manage to take the football to the 40, and that is well shy of the first down marker. It's a seven-yard run, but it does bring up fourth down. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. Nice unit is on the field, as this is a big spot right here. This to make it a two-score game. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. There. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 47. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. They're going to look to throw. And in oh, my gosh. It was a pick six. He's been throwing the football these last couple weeks. Oh, that's a, it's not just West Coast offense either. He's putting the ball downfield as well. going to wind up incomplete. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. He'll take a shot downfield for Pittman. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. The Seahawks go for it, but can't convert. And the car... Again, it's countered. He'll be taken down just shy of midfield after a game of about And this is an absolute game for him that has been set up here. Murray again. This is Connor. And he won't quite make it. He needed six. He got about five. Fourth down. Two minutes left to play in this foot. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This was the old NFL record distance for decades, a 63-yard attempt. McCann's kick up and good, and that will extend their lead even further. Wow, I mean, it's so rare to even see one attempted from that distance, CD notes, as he'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. The card's going nickel, an extra defensive back out there now on third down. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. He's going to let it fly. And that's caught inside the 35. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. And that goes as a gain of 37 on third down. But dialing up that play call certainly meant that he grabbed a little extra. This down to about the 32-yard line. They'll look to throw again. He lets it. 
lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Oh, he left that one in a bad spot. Blue check. Yellow, one, Smith, red. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Cardinal defense is going to get the football back. Well, they had to take... So it's a win here for the Arizona Cardinals. And say what you want about Lumen Field here in Seattle, but for my money, this is the loudest and most difficult place to win in the league when you're on the road. It's very hard. The fan support, off the charts. The way that they make noise and understand when to make noise, they understand the game as well as anyone. And how about what we get in our, our media packets when we start preparing for the game? They have it in their own stuff, right? The number